I think I may have found the resolution to those cold winter blues. And it comes in just a small package form like this in a group lot in our general sale. And if you can read that, it says the dainty muff warmer. <laughs> make, what, make one of that what you will. <laughs> Obviously only for the, for the dainty lady <laughs> but I think I'll leave that one there but um, obviously a nice interesting addition to a lot there an entire group together <laughs> you'd never think you'd find something like that in here probably make the whole lot around 30 to 50 something like that but <laughs> could be a nice gift you never know Christmas gift ideas they're coming up now <laughs> uh, we've got a few lot well lots of other items in the, in the general sale here um, plenty of silver and jewellery in the cabinet, as per usual. There's a nice tea strainer, a silver tea strainer that I spotted earlier. So this is Russian silver, and as people are starting to become more eco-friendly and moving away from tea bags and to loose leaf tea, that's a nice way of, of having your tea in a, an antique Russian silver tea strainer. There's plenty of other things in here as well. There's silver fighting cockles up the top there. Plenty of other things, rings and other silver table ornaments. Got a lovely gold pheasant brooch. So that's 15 karat gold and there's three different colors that you might be able to see in there with an enameled eye. Isn't that a lovely thing? Extremely good quality feathering as well. That's probably Victorian or Edwardian, that one. And we'll have a look over here as well. I've spotted lots, lots of really interesting things over here, including this, lot 545, which is an ammonite fossil. So this is between probably one and 200 million years old. And it's sat here in our general sale room. Lots of these um, around, but um, uh, they used to be a, a sea creature, um, obviously fossilized in the Jurassic period. But isn't that a lovely table ornament or a desk ornament, something like that? What else have we got? Plenty of things in this cabinet again. Lots of interesting small boxfuls of items here. Let's just pick out one and dive in. Looks quite unassuming, but straight away I've spotted here. That's a Victorian, and that's gold as well. It's a Victorian morning brooch. So what that is, it's, is um, that central panel is actually woven hair. I'll just pop that down, it's quite hard to... So that central panel right there is, is woven hair, used as a memorial to wear by a relative or a friend. Isn't that just a lovely little thing? Extremely dainty. Right at the bottom of a box lot. What else have we got? Silver, a pencil, City of London Maternity Hospital, help our London babies. Lots of other agate stones. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Literally bursting out of this box. But just a few items there in the whole box lot that will probably be somewhere between 50 and 100 pounds. But for a, you just never know what you're going to find in all of these boxes here. What else have we got? On to the next thing. Hat challenge that we did last time as well. Who wore it better, me or Mark? <laughs> That's a nice stack of hats. Let's make a nice show display item. What else have we got? Oh, some lovely stained glass here. This one's a fire screen at the back. I'll just move this one out of the way. Lovely fire screen with fish and bird panels there. It has a few cracks in it, but the main, the main, um, Figural panels are lovely. Wouldn't that shine lovely behind a or in front of a fire? And this one, 
golden jubilee gift of, and we'll never know. <laughs> Obviously on the next panel, but some beautiful colours there. What else? Just so much to look through. It's, it's always worth coming in to look at all of this stuff because you really get an idea of what you're sifting through as well. Look at that. Anyone finding this briefcase is asked to telephone this number or to hand it in to the nearest police station with a request that they should take that action. <laughs> Probably found Boris Johnson's case there. I think he needs to take a bit of action. <laughs> Someone hand it back to him. Maybe phone his number. Might find out something. So much to look through. Some really interesting two boxes of photographs here. Have a look at the zoom in on those. But these are all locomotives that are early 20th, some even 19th century, but mostly between early and mid 20th century. That's a lovely collection. That's just a few we flicked through there, but there's stacks and stacks of them. Two boxes in one lot. Lovely items. And we have plenty more to look through the furniture down downstairs. So we'll quickly pause and I'll just take you through a few, through a few of the interesting items downstairs as well. Welcome back to the furniture section. <laughs> First starting off, guess what the name of this chair is? Any ideas? Well, it's called a badminton chair. Um, you might not know why, and I don't really blame you, but I, I think, my idea is that it, this could be, look like a shuttlecock. <laughs> but who knows, anyone's, anyone's guess. <laughs> but a nice, nice thing, probably around two or three hundred pounds <laughs> for a lovely wing back chair that you can slouch into in the evenings. And behind it, straight here, is a lovely painted pine kitchen dresser already painted for you, that will fit into any nice modern kitchen. The clocks go with it as well. Let's have a look through the rest. Keep going down here. What else have we got? One pair of leather armchairs here. Lots of modern furniture in this sale. It's not just a, an antique furniture sale. Um, there's, there is lots of other modern stuff as well. Look at this. That's a very interesting workbench. Cast iron fittings there. Don't know what you'd use it for, but some sort of kitchen work surface. Something like that. Oh, lovely. What else if we keep moving down here? Tray top tables. And a, a not quite pair of leather leather armchairs. Lovely wing backs to them. Obviously a bit a bit worn and a few splits here and there, but still some extremely lovely shapes to those. And probably around 100 to 150 each, we would have thought. <laughs> An interesting sculpture here from Clive Fredrickson, who is a local artist to us. He does lots of different things, painting and all different sorts of sculptures as well. And this is one of his, the grasshopper. <laughs> very interesting item. I wonder what he'll come up with next. He's very imaginative with all of his work. What else? Gigantic mirror. If you've got a wall that needs patching. And Plenty of different rugs as well. Lots of those. And we'll sting down this, this row here. An extremely delicate looking chair that I won't bother sitting on because I'll go straight through it. <laughs> Another sculptural item. You've got to come in, you've got to walk into this sale room and think, what can I do with that? It's, it's a really interesting way of looking at all of this stuff. Lots of different modern coffee tables and straight behind it, an antique um, inlaid vitrine. And they call these 
envelope tables as they open like an envelope and it's a card table inside with a place to put all your chips and then it closes back up nicely to become a coffee table if you don't need that. There's a drawer underneath as well. Another coffee table possibly. An old mine card. They always make nice low coffee tables. Obviously mobile as well. A lovely set of Bentwood chairs here. Had one, had one, one of these in our last antique sale that created a lot of interest. And now there's another tube here. Lovely pair there. And then just to finish off, uh, look at that. <laughs> As Ken labelled it, the Wonka chair. <laughs> yeah, maybe that would uh, that wouldn't fit in, in anyone's <laughs> in anyone's household. But that's that's the lot. So there's plenty more to look through though online, or you can come in and view it all in person. But um, please do come along. Uh, viewing is on Monday, Tuesday, and then the sales on Wednesday and Thursday. So please do come along. Thank you very much.